again, class. It's your sensei, reindeer, and we are going to be doing something that you guys are going to love. And that is definitely not sarcasm. You're really going to love spending a lot of time doing this. <laughs> Welcome to weight painting. Now, because everything was symmetrical and we didn't faff around with much at all, this should be easy as pie. Should be easy as pie. Don't quote me on that though. So go and select the body, the bodice. I'm going to add a modifier and we're going to add an armature and we're going to click this. In object, we're going to click armature. I'm going to do the same with the head. Armature, pupils, add modifier, armature. That's all that. Now, if you did, if you, if you paid attention to the last video on making an armature, it should be able to do this. So if we go to, here, and hit R, the head will move. Isn't that delightful? And it should take um, the pupils and the insides of the mouth with it, which is great. All right, let's get out of pose mode. Another thing which I highly recommend you do right now, this, this second, download Cat's Blender plugin. I've put some links in the first few videos um, if you watch them, then I hope you listened and downloaded Cat's Blender plugin. Because if I use Cat's and you have no idea what I'm doing and you don't see this tab here, you're going to get confused. So please download it. I'm not going to need it so much now, but we're definitely going to get into it um, later, a bit later down the line when we're, when we're making shape keys. But definitely get that plugin. You can also stop pose mode if you don't have the plugin currently. So let's say you didn't have the cat's uh, plugin. So you, you just see this and you're in pose mode. You can just go back here out of pose mode. But you'd also have to uh, like clear transform. If you move this like this, if you do this, you're like, okay, let's just go back to armature but every time you go back to pose mode it's like that go no what have i done just go back to pose mode here it's like this pose clear transform or you back to normal but i like cats because if you do this it just automatically clears the transform let's do this gonna control click so click on the body, control click, control click, then on the armature, last, control P, set parent to armature deform. So now all this should be under the armature, they're all connected, except for these pictures. That's great! So let's just do this, click on the armature, then control click on the bodice, and then we go here. In this tab here that says object mode and we go to weight paint if you've done that correctly you should be able to select this bone and move it still and this kind of deal um if you've moved a bone and you haven't clicked off you can just right click once and it'll snap back into its original position first let's do this go to brush this menu here and make sure front face is only is not NIT not ticked. Then we're going to go to fall off and make sure it's on projected. This is what we want. You want to be able to paint on one side, right? And then it shows up on the other side. This, this is, this is your dream. All right. So press down pad one to go to this view. We're going to start with the head. Um, so let's Turn off the head for a second. Gonna make that red. So it moves that part. 
and we're also gonna colour this part in just like that. Gonna get the blur and blur this down here. Oh, the blur isn't um, all the way through. Let's fix that. Okay, so blur, brush, that's off, full off, projected. Okay. Hopefully this goes all the way through now. Yeah, it does. That's the neck part and this part here. Let me see how it looks with the head on. Doesn't look that bad with the head on actually. What you do want is no gaps between the neck and the head. No gaps at all. I'm gonna smooth this out by clicking on this area. Click on the brush here, this draw, draw brush, make sure that's on add. Right. Gonna select this area of the chest. Should go all the way through to the back. Now make sure it looks like this. This triangle shape, this is what you want. Maybe even like a tiny bit up there, but not a lot. Righty. Hit the blur. Let's blur this out. And the pen tool might be useful to you. I mean, your pen tool, your uh, graphics tablet if you've got one. Be a lot easier to control. Just blur under here. Press three. See this mode. might just be fine. Now if you click this shoulder and we're going to be adding this kind of shape. So here and here. It's kind of triangle shape. Blur that with your blur as best as you can. And now because we had that mirror, it should mirror onto there automatically. So let's see. Okay. So for me, that's too far across. So this needs to go in a bit. Brush, subtract here and blur it out let's see this neck area too i'm gonna bring this down a bit and remember you don't need to click symmetry here because it's already it's already symmetrical that's a bit better Still needs to be adjusted a little bit. What I'm gonna do is try and cross over these shadings. So I'm gonna push this back up actually and try again. When two parts cross over, so if there's colour here and colour from this bone that goes over like that, it'll it'll curve. It'll create a curve. Right, so that should be the same on that size because it's mirrored over. Let's get this arm looking actually half decent. So make sure you have add on. I'm gonna go over here. Like this. And blur the 
this area here. Alright. So now that that shoulder part needs to be looked at because it's not deforming in a nice way. But for now we're going to leave that so we can work on the rest of the body. We'll, c we'll come back to it. Make sure your brush, make sure you first have the brush or drawer tool selected and then make sure it's on add and we're going to go under the chest area and down here. You want to keep these colours in a similar place to where the bone is. So we'll blur here and blur here. Check around. I'm gonna do this and do a similar thing. We're doing this kind of shape now. This curved shape. I'm gonna try and select down the middle too and blur again. The blur here is actually really good compared to the blur with drawing, which is very odd. So one thing you do want is this area to have shading that goes further down than the front area. You want this hips to to have some control of the bun. <laughs> That'll help it stay rounder. It'll help the butt stay rounder. There are more things that you can do to help the butt stay rounder when, when moving the legs. But for now this is good. Let's do this leg. Remember to save as you go. So let's get this here. Can you do this arc curve shape as well? And we're gonna get that blur. Hit numpad three. And do this sort of thing, and I'm also gonna press subtract and take away some of this butt from the leg. Just don't want the leg to move the butt that much. this area in this area just a little bit all righty let's move further down the leg select this bone selecting with right click and add this here and down here. Gonna hit it with the blur. Press number three to get to this view. And blur this ankle area. The foot. Brush, add, 
just in this area here. And also on these ankles. Gonna hit it with the blur. Just like that. And also you want the bend to be in this toe area, so. Let's blur that. Select these toes. Brush. This one add. And do this kind of deal. Now, if you were super into, let's say, animation, for example, and you're going to animate these toes, then you'd have to add more bones to them. But because the most we're going to be doing, like VTubing and VR chat, their animation isn't that um, complex. So there really isn't really a need to add bones to the toes. This this one bone is is gonna be enough. All right. All right. Now, testing phase. Gonna lift that up. and see that you actually want to push this back. So let's blur this further up, actually. And let's push this back, because I think this has way too much control of the toes. Gonna press subtract. And if you haven't noticed by now, okay. That's not what I wanted. Why is that doing that? Brush. Subtract. If you haven't by noticed by now, blue means no control. Red means all the control, but it depends on your settings. And Anything in the middle is just everything in the middle. Just blur this. Rotate in the X direction. Might be easier to see with this kind of deal on. Rotate in the X direction. Looking at this deform. That is a lot better than what it was. But I still want to incorporate more of that, that under part. Because the toes look a tiny bit broken. Alright. Let's do this. Brush. Add. This is why um, weight painting can be very tedious and even frustrating sometimes. It's because there's a lot of going back and forth. Crazy lots. If you thought placing the bones was hard, this is going to be in a different realm. Oh, and yeah, you need to be careful not to do this. Let's do that. You need to keep a very close eye on what you're painting. I'm going to try and do this kind of a deal. And blur that. Should blur all the way through. And this foot. Okay. Gonna subtract. 
brush subtract here and here so it's more in a curve shape just hopefully give a bit more curve to that bend right now rotate in the x direction that I like a lot better even though this is not good but that's not really gonna happen much though that's not though it's not perfect it's better than it was this I'm gonna get rid of some of this so brush subtract and I'm actually going to turn off this and I'm going to turn on that because I only want to paint on this this bottom this bottom part I don't want to paint through it now so the brush is on subtract and you can kind of see it's rounding out at the bottom like that Okay, I'm gonna blur like this and like this. To get rid of that harshness. And definitely here. now to get rid of some of this brush subtract and a little bit here but it's probably just gonna be blurred and added back on also be mirrored on there so let's check this bend and I'm going to refine it so this I'm gonna go to brush and then go to add Add more strength down here and there and here and here on the foot and then I'm just gonna blur it and almost undo what I just did almost I want to be careful with this. Gonna hit subtract and turn off front faces, turn on projected, and get rid of that a bit. But also get rid of this control here. I'm gonna add it back but hopefully be a bit more um particular about it. Alright. So this needs to be blurred, especially in the front area. And the back area unfortunately needs to be squished. Oh, 
want this to squish as well but not super intensely so I'm blurring and also subtracting might end up moving that that bone further down a bit we'll see might not as well as a design all right let's get this knee bent and see that it is not to our liking this is okay we can fix it all right so this bottom knee going to subtract and take away some of the control it has on this leg here except in the front it's okay to have some in the front and go to this leg and make sure that's on subtract take away some of the power it has on this one and soften it out that's way better of a bend so the language i'm using is hopefully allowing you to kind of have a better idea of how these colors and the shading is having an effect over the shape of these things so i'm blurring here to kind of add a little bit of color this way and also smooth things out. I'm blowing here for the same reason, smooth things out. And round out that knee area. Now this. Whatever this is, it's not good. Let's do that. Now what is going on there? There we go. Now Bend that forward and you'll see because of the weight paint this area of the butt is still round and this goes into a strange shape so you need to keep an eye on that you don't want it to look too dodgy gonna smooth these shapes out add a little bit here just to smooth that out This is pretty alright as well. Let's see. Let's see here. Here, I still want to smooth this out a bit and make sure a little bit of, of that top area goes down as well. Just a little bit. Now, when you move it back, this butt isn't gonna, you know, you know how butts kind of squish like that? It's not really gonna do that. But a lot of games don't really put the effort into, um, to have that happening, so it's fine. What games are usually more interested in is uh, 
keeping this roundness when the light goes forward. Just, you know, sitting and stuff. Oopsie daisy. Now because this is mirrored, this should be also being able to do this, and this, and this, yeah, and you can, so you can uh, select two by shift clicking. The only thing that's going to be rather unfortunate is that. So I'm actually going to add a bit more control to these looks in that middle area. It's starting to look rather odd if these legs bend too far upwards. So let's sort that out. This bottom leg needs to have more control over these parts, so just going to add some blur here. Bring this up. Even more. And I'm just blurring that out to you lessen the amount of power it has over. You need to be careful. This 90 degree angle is the most important though. So if this looks good and this looks terrible, don't worry about it. No one's leg goes that high unless you're a gymnast. So as long as this general area looks good, you're fine. First, no one's leg's gonna go for that far back. So this is what you want to look at. Someone's legs will probably go this, this far back and then not any further than that. So don't, so don't do this, don't do this and be like, oh no, it's broken, let me fix it. Don't. You're just going to be wasting your time. Make realistic movements and then adjust based on that. Posing and moving. And then once you're done with the legs, stop pose mode. Or if you don't have cats, Blender plugging downloaded, which you really should. Then you'd go to, first let's go back to where we were before, so control, click, wait, wait, what pose mode is still on, amateur, body, weight paint, and then say you pose this the same, so like that, like that, um, get out of pose mode by clicking armature, go back into pose mode, Linked, linked, pose, clear transform, or all. all right, so armature, bodice, um, this is still in pose mode, armature, bodice, armature, bodice, weight paint. I'm gonna use cats from now on if I want to stop pose mode, just keep that in mind. Okay, so done the legs and this hip area. Now I want to make sure this is smooth because we have so many uh, vertices in there and also because these these um, blended areas cross over it's going to be pretty smooth. Let's make sure this is curved and this squishes. This side you want it to squish. It doesn't have to squish perfectly but you do want it to squish. And this one and also, also remember when you're posing this model that this is not going to ever move by itself. 
if that's going to move, this is also going to move. So don't think it's broken when you've only moved like the top part and it looks super weird. This is a position you need to think about. Because that's where it starts getting jagged on the ends, on the edges, and you don't want it to be jagged. You want this to be smooth. So your best bet is to be able to have some more gradients in this general area. I'm just blurring a bit there. And I'm gonna blur the smooth it out a bit. Here, I'm gonna blur there. I should hopefully smooth it out too. Now that should help a lot. Now this arm, I'm going to give more control to the shoulder and less control to this arm part. Because when I give control to this and this, it squishes like that. To be honest, I've, I've helped it a lot, but let's uh, do subtract. And front face is ticked off, fall off and projected. Gonna erase. Now don't touch this area, because this area is fine. Let's blur this area a bit. And try moving it now. Now this position here is very nice. This position here, not so much. However, this, this, this angle here, wait, this straight angle here, this is what you want to look the best. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. But this, where it's, that's 180 degrees. You don't want that to look bad. Alright, I'm gonna hit stop pose mode and go back into weight paint like this. Okay. So I've done that. This I'm gonna add right here. Just do the whole arm red until the wrist gonna hit this with blur and also this with blur and also the wrist do this should be on add yes I'm gonna do this area here like that and like this See how we've not really gone to pass the thumb? Yeah, that's what you're looking for, this kind of shape. Let's do the thumb area, which is going to be here, just like that. Alright, go back to the hand and blur this area here. And these areas are the fingers. The hand is what's going to take you the most time. Because you've got all these tiny parts. And to blur the thumb. And remember to save too. Now we can't go into detail just yet because we want to be able to move these parts and not have them just stuck in the air like this. They're just stuck. We want to move everything together. So we have to do these parts first. 
Okay, oops. Remember to select the bone first before you start painting. So here. 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 And just keep going until you finish all these areas. And then we'll look at the bends individually. Okay, what you don't want to do is paint on the, the fingers next to it. Only paint on one finger. Okay, now it's all moving together, which is great. Exactly what you want. Alright, the rest go to number head one. We want to take a look at this position here. Make sure it's not too weird. Personally, I think it looks pretty alright. I would just blur these bits a little bit. Alright, in this position here. also doesn't look too bad however I do want to add some more control in this area so I'll make sure that's on add and add it here and also blow now since up is there hopefully be able to blur this and squish it. Also gonna have to select the thumb and blur this area. So it's more like that. Now, because I'm still not happy with that that hand movement, I am going to move the bone position, but not just yet. I still want to test out this thumb. I'm going to go to three, select this bone, I'm going to look at this movement here. So personally, I feel that also needs to change position. So let's quickly do that. So stop pose mode. I'm gonna go to the armature, modeling, and we want symmetry on. So if I select this and grab, moves both directions. All right. So this thumb, let's click the first numpad first, numpad one, and we want to bring this up like that. And also grab in the y direction a little bit, and hope that is good. Another thing we wanted to do is bring this forward, so grab in the x direction. Grab in the x direction, grab in the z direction. About there. Hopefully that's enough. Alright. Go back to layout, save. Armature, control click on the bodice, object mode, and then weight paint. And I have a look at this again. And see this movement here. Now it's kind of moving on an axis that I like. However, 
I'm going to take away some of the power it has. So, going to hit subtract. Uh, subtract. And do this kind of a deal. And also blur. Let's blur this area. So now it shouldn't move this this end too much. This kind of a deal. Let's get the wrist and add and do this and blur it. I want too much red here. Looks like this thumb. Do this. So it has so it affects this area too. And check again. Now I'm still not happy with that bone placement, so I'm gonna change it yet again. So I'm just gonna hit save, stop pose mode, modeling. Make sure your mirror is on. And I'm going to bring this up. Even though I, I literally just moved it. This is the thing with weight painting. I'm going to bring it closer to there. A bit more similar to where the bone is in real life. A bit like this. All right, layout, armature, bodice, white paint, and now have a look at this movement. Now that I like a lot better. Rotates that. I like, but I still feel like it doesn't have as much power as I want it to. Gonna hit F and scale that down. Is my ring cast not working? There we go. Trying to have this move in a better way. Going to use the brush and subtract and blow this air, smooth it out. Okay, um, brush add. Gonna try and This area in the red zone. I'm actually gonna move this back here. So this is more this is more the as far as the uh, normal hand would go, wouldn't really go much further than that. So this this I like. This I like. This movement here. This movement here though, it's not bad actually. This is what you want to look for. You you want to you want this to stay round. You don't want it to dip in. So let's turn on. F actually, let's go to that. Turn it on front faces and floor shape is a sphere. Make sure that's on subtract and I'm gonna take away some of this. Yes. 
take away and we're gonna blow this gonna blow this and still gonna take away a bit more and blow take a look at this shape and it's still a tiny bit jaggy but that's just because of the um it's because of the design now this side when you move your thumb this part kind of stays fat so we're going to do this kind of thing subtract here and also yeah. And also here. And going to blur it. So that's the thumb. So you don't want to select this area because if this is moving, that will move with it. So that will go in. You don't want it to go in. You want it to, you want it to stay fat. No, nope, not that. Make sure you click the right brush. Middle of the hand. This is about as close as you're gonna get. As far as this animation goes. If you're if you're feeling really confused and stuck, I just say try and copy um, these weight paints as best as you can because it's it's just gonna be pretty difficult to try and explain further than red is control, blue is not control. Apart from that, the most you can do is. Just try and make these bends look as nice as possible, which is what I'm trying to do. So we put effort into um, into making sure the colors are in the right position for all the bones, and then now this extra stuff is just making sure the bends look nice and as realistic as you can for uh, for this for this armature. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna rotate this like here. Now what you want to try is try and make this bend look as, as normal as possible as far as bending bones go. And you want to get rid of anything that shouldn't have power over a certain area. So this has too much power, so make sure subtract is on. I'm going to take off front faces only, I'm going to turn on projected, so we can paint through the mesh. I'm going to get rid of it here. And now that's got, now that's got mass back. I do want to 
turn down the strength of this and do some light blurring here and this bend is working in our favour because we've got that roundness here and then it collapses here that's why we had that triangle it was not a waste of time after all <laughs> okay now this side Although it's a little bit on the too much end. So let's try and see what we can do about that. Might not be much. And turn the strength down. And I'm going to blur back on. Okay. Might have to stay with that for a little bit. Let's click that bone, take it out, and try again. I want this to be a lighter blue, not that strong turquoise color. What's about the R to rotate and blur, blur, and that's better than what it was before. Checking that bend. And I like that. A bit more to that side. And now this part of the thumb. bend it and the bend actually I'm not mad at that I'm not mad at that at all it's pretty alright I'm still gonna have a look at both of these see if there's too much control in one area and this looks pretty alright so I'm gonna soften this out though This I'm going to soften out the tiniest bit. Now this. It's looking good to me. That's the thumb. Now let's do these fingers. And also, because of, of the mesh design, also done here. Let's, let's rotate all of these fingers. Rotate and let's while we're here, let's get that subtract brush and get rid of. Oh, I see, I see. It's here instead. I'm gonna select this, rotate in the y axis. Alright, something, there we go, and this little finger as well, rotate in the y-axis, like that. When your hand bends, this part moves too for start, and this part moves a little bit more. So let's try and do that as best as we can. So 
I think Blur is gonna come in in handy here. It's a blur tool. Gonna smooth out this area. to this wrist area and we are going to subtract rotate Y rotate Y rotate Y rotate Y so we've got this wrist, I'm gonna rotate that in the x direction to kind of get it out of the way. Got this wrist, and going to subtract some of the power it has over these fingers. And here as well. Use blur, soften that up a bit. Do a little bit here. Let's focus on these bottom areas. Rotate. Rotate. See, I don't like how sharp this is. Try and Blur that out, soften it. That's better. Inside, try and soften it. It's a much softer bend. Now this side is also rather harsh looking. Just gonna do this. And this. See this, do this, and that. Should hopefully soften things out too. So I want this to squish more. So I'm just going to do that. And it should hopefully help a bit. I want to soften this. I feel like that's a bit too harsh. That might be better. Yeah, that's that's better. A little stiff, but better. And let's see. want this to be, to have a bit more shape. Let's see what we can do with this. First not subtract there. That helps a little bit. All right, that finger, I'm gonna call it down. I'm just gonna move it out of the way. This finger, 
definitely going to be moving some of these finger bones back because I feel like they're a bit too forward. Now this is messy. Is that on subtract? Yes. I'm going to blur this line here and this line here and this line. And this is not coloured very well, so add, make this darker red, and this too. But I feel like some of these bends are still not in the best place. Some of these bones, I mean. Because that's a bit too far there when I really want it to be more here. So this kind of bending is good. Rotate the Y. Oh, okay. Now that's something you don't want. Have a look over here. And let's get our brush and hit subtract. Keep a very close eye on if you've accidentally painted the rest of the body. This is very messy. Let's see if we can blur this area a bit and subtract this area a lot here oh dear um blur might just need to add add here because here's the triangle oops here's the triangle Let's blur this part blur this part And very stiff, very stiff, but it's not hard to fix. It doesn't help that this is in the, the wrong place. No, that bone is completely in the wrong place. <laughs> you want the bones where these, where these triangles are. Because that's going to help with this this top area being rounder and then this bot bottom area collapsing nicely. So hopefully when we move those bones back into the right position it'll look a lot nicer. Hopefully. Right, let's go stop pose mode. I'm gonna save and we're gonna try our best to get these bones in the right place. So click on armature and modeling make sure your x is on x for symmetry in the x direction we're gonna select l and hide and l and hide this uh, push that up this and push that up Hide, L, hide. Now this one, L, L, hide. Hide with H. This one, grab, move that to the triangle. This one, grab, move to the triangle. Alt H. L, 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 hide. Hit one. This one, grab, move to the triangle. This one, grab, move to the triangle. Alt, H. L, 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 hide. And then pad one. That is at the triangle. This, move down a little bit. To be good. Now this is going to be a little bit weird. Because I think they could both do with this kind of deal. I 
but at the same time not really. I'm just going to move that a little bit that way and a little bit that way and hit Alt H. I wanted to bring these back, grab in the X direction, grab in the X direction, this one two and this one can bring a little forward okay hopefully that helps so there you are. i'm gonna save it and armature control click bodice go to weight paint mode and pray that it looks good i feel like that bend is a bit better Uh, this seems to be... Yeah, that's a lot better than when it was before. And that's pretty good too. I am going to blur this part a bit. It's more like that. Oh right, this elbow. So rotate that in the Z axis. Rotate in the X axis. Okay, this bend is not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see if we can make it look a bit more soft. That's actually pretty simple. I would add another loop here and round it out a bit so this doesn't have to make that shape but but it's all right especially this this movement yeah yeah i'm gonna leave that that's good And this I like too. Even though I am still kind of wishing that I had more power. So let's see what we can do about that. Oh, actually. Going to have to, yeah, subtract some of this so it doesn't bend in so much. And then blur it. and that alrighty this I don't like too much so we're going to subtract this area and blur it and also add here a little bit that i like a bit more and this i like a lot more than what it was before Yeah. 
Oh, actually, yeah. One thing I don't want is the squishing. I don't want the squish. Go here and subtract this, this area. It can be like the tiniest bit of squishing, but not a lot. And this I'm going to add and front faces only and fall off sphere I'm going to add here and blow these areas yeah I like that better it's almost weird So this shape is fine, this shape is not. Stop pose mode, I'm gonna click on the armature modeling, Let's, let me try something. We got mirrors on so I'm gonna grab in, in the Z direction and put it up here. Now this, you don't want this to be below these, so grab in this direction. Let's try this again. I'll save armature bodice. Ooh, wait, wait. Armature. Control click on the bodice. Weight paint. Let me see this. That is tons better. Just because I moved that bone, this movement has improved so much. keep an eye on this now that's why bone position is so important I'm actually gonna squish her butt a bit because it's it does look a little strange being that pointy let me get that leg and Keep blurring that until it is less pointy. I'm gonna do pose mode again, like this. And most important things you're gonna be looking for is just everything moves nicely and doesn't look obviously terrible. So to get this this free twisting, I just click in the middle of of these crosshairs just like there for example if you're wondering where this um stripey design came from don't ask <laughs> these tiny feet now once you do this we're going to get this face rigged um, with all the blinking and and mouth movements and stuff and then we're going to test it in VR chat but this, this at least you've got a rigged body now <laughs> and you definitely definitely if you didn't have cats for this lesson you 100% a thousand percent need it for the next lesson because Katz is going to provide us with a little shortcut. Alright, so remember to save your work. Um, sorry for the long video, but what can you do? Uh, post, your, um, post your work and the stuff. 
and uh, I oh I shouldn't stay up too long. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, rig your models. Good night. Uh, farewell. <laughs> uh.